Hello everyone, I am Sacred and thank you for joining me in a Hearts of Iron 4 challenge as Albania. In this episode, we are going to try to just survive as Albania with this mod called Festung Albanien Fortress Albania. If you know a bit about history, you'll know that Ender Hoxha just built bunkers all over the nation. So just imagine uh, Commonwealth Albania being ported back in time and staying in the Balkans during the Second World War. Uh, you cannot accept the uh, well invasion by the Italians, so therefore, I mean, we'll have forts in all of our provinces, as well as naval forts, so um, to make the game not so boring, I'm going to play with some other mods as well. I'm going to play with the Road to 56, as well as with um, uh, with independent Bosnia and with the Bosnian Croatian Dubrovnik and Slovenian mod to make the game in the Balkans more challenging and more random. To do that, first I have to go into Yugoslavia. I have to release these countries by myself. But after that, I'm going to switch to Albania and then let's try the challenge. 1936. I'm also playing with the Road to 56 outside. Well, this game should be really interesting. Let's play on regular. We can see no adjustments to the difficulty have been made. Nothing. And therefore, let's, uh, we, I can't play with Iron Man because I wouldn't be able to switch back into Albania. Let's go ahead, release these nations, and after that, switch to Albania. Uh, for the entire time, I think playing as in this type of speed should be possible. First, release the Brownick as a puppet. Same goes for. Bosnia, Croatia, and Slovenia. Alright, Serbia and Montenegro will be a part of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Now let's just uh, switch to Albania. You can see we are now playing with Albania, we played speed 4. Let's set the focus here, our new leader. The decadent King Zak has been leading our great nation into doom for too long. The time has come for the people to seize power and bring and to the protecting vice. Should do well, let's get new weapons as well as a fig industry. As Albania, we only have two research slots, that isn't so much, therefore, um, we we'll need more. <laughs> I mean, uh, the focus tree for Albania isn't that big, but it's uh, certainly enough. Therefore, I can uh, first. I'm gonna go ahead and get the religious institutions. After that, I'm gonna do the economic reform, get some more factories, get some more bunkers, and then it will be set good and fine to resist the Italians' invasion. The Italians should invade us in somewhere around 1938. By that time, I should have around 100,000 troops in the field. Considering our heavy fortifications in Albania, surviving should be very, very possible. Unless they declare war to us earlier. Let's get uh, this extra slots. Yeah, it's time to strike against the Divas. I was actually... I actually tried first to play this mod with the um, new mod called... I think it was called Chaos AI. But then Italy just declared war on me after like some weeks. And I just got crushed because, I mean, with 9,000 troops, with one division and two naval ports even existing, you aren't able to simply survive against a whole full-scale Italian invasion. That's about that, but now Italians shouldn't invade us before 1938. They are currently fighting Ethiopia. And let's see how the war down there goes. Well, as usual, the Italians should win. This war, I still be a bit tired, but oh, that's fine. <sighs> As usual, the Italians would win. And in the meanwhile, we can get the power politics national character. The uh, troops pushing, there's currently just one war. Uh, the Italian war in Ethiopia, national focus will be let's embrace state atheism. We will make our state run based on reason and reason only. Now we have three research slots. If you say, well, I actually need them to get the extra bonuses for my army, since I won't have many troops, I won't have troops, I won't have quality, high quality troops. This short division will be out of use for us, I think. Let's get some troops as well. 
and the beginning of the Spanish Civil War and the beginning of the Mexican Civil War as well. Look into that. The Mexican opposition democratic is fighting the a non-aligned Mexico. The army is basically controlled by the Mexican opposition, how you can see. But Mexican, Mexico has three military factories while the opposition has none. They have the edge in civilian factories, now they have one, so it's going to be quite interesting. That's gonna turn out, and yep, Italy fully next. The next Ethiopia, we embrace state atheism. We could ban religion to get our fifth research, so let's actually do that. It's time for the Albanian people to gather in museums of atheism rather than rotten churches and mosques. So we'll have five research slots there, which would give us an important edge in technology, which will be really uh, necessary for us. As a political advisor, I could get what Prince of Terra. Um, let's just get uh, what the war industrial is. I guess we can get in. I mean, we're just building one factory, but it's at least getting a little bit faster, so... Yeah, that should be fine. I mean, it's going to be finished in 1939, 5th of July, so it's gonna take a long time. Unless we uh, do some expansion of our army first. But I'm really excited to see how the Balkans are going to be. Now, instead of one huge Yugoslavian nation, we have five nations uh, compromise of the Yugoslavian territory namely we have Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Dubrovnik and the Kingdom of Yugoslavia one, two, three, four, five nations and Stalin secured stability in the Soviet Union religion is banned, now it's time for the economic reform the nationalization of industry will steer our economy on the right track in no time we could kill the beast of Calcutta, but that's not giving us any uh, effect. I think that isn't finished yet, that's why. Having five research slots is just great, therefore I can also focus one on the special research division. We'll be one of the technology technologically most advanced nations. <coughs> Excuse me. Should be guaranteed. You see we have one division. <coughs> we have around 1k infantry equipment. <coughs> but that's not that much. Let's, how should we call the theater? Let's call it uh, Hoxan or Hojan Front. Construction 1 is secured. Let's go ahead and get some infantry. Good shock troops, maybe get some mountaineers as well. Three. And after that, let's get engineer companies as well. That is the Yugoslavian Navy. I have no idea what it's doing there. We could just like dock on the port, but. Yeah, they're preferring the area. Huh? Reform has been accomplished. Let's get the civilian industry. Yeah. It says nothing, but we'll get two civilians factories after we completed the research of that. That's nice. Then what should I get next? That's perhaps. Yeah, like, let's get radio. So let's get electronic engineering. We are really lacking behind in terms of technologies, but thanks to our five research slots, that should be made up in nearly no time. Next thing next, let's get, I guess, partial more. I mean, it really sh doesn't matter that much, does it? Uh, we can get the autarky doctrine then, but let's, okay, already get partial mobilization, and after that, what should I get? Perhaps, um, okay, let's just say our power, I guess. We certainly need more troops. I mean, I need seven sport equipment. The sad thing is, I only have one military factory as Albania. But after mixed industry and military industry, we are going to get three extra military factories, and that should, I think, greatly help us. The Japanese army embraces Nanshin Run. Alright. But then let's get the mixed industry. Second part of Hokja Industrial Plan will ensure a swift transformation from civilian to military economy. That sounds well thought of. Then let's also get. Should we get. Perhaps hierarchy should help us, especially in division or melting pot. Melting pot can be higher construction speed. Since we'll only build military factories, this will be the better pick, I think, hierarchy. Yeah. Let's get the radio next. We have five factories. 
Sadly, nobody wants to trade with us. I mean, we have nothing to trade with, therefore, that's sadly understandable. If I could invade Yugoslavia, they have quite a huge army compared to mine, so that's easier said than done, actually. You never know. We might be actually able to invite them, but I don't think so, actually. We'll be able to. I need to ensure that my provinces are safeguarded against the Italian rats. The Polish Romanian Alliance and the Hindenburg disaster. Alright. National focus, no military industry. Last part of Hoxha industrial plan will be centered on rapid on rapid expansion of our military potential. That's great. So we we'll have four military and five civilian factories to them. I may actually build one more civilian factory. No, let's just build military ones, yeah. I mean we have five civilians, so that should be enough. And Mexico won the Mexican Civil War. They did it. And they are actually being guaranteed by the US. That doesn't surprise me of because of the Monroe the Korean. On next thing next, this first industry, we'll get a it's still take too long. Just go normally researching that and with machine tools as well. I mean excavation wouldn't be beneficial to research. Therefore, I'll just get like, computing there. It seems like the nationalists are actually going to win the civil war, or such a surprise. So uh, that part about Spain actually sticks to the history at least. Not at least, just it sticks to the history. Uh, then let's. What should we get? Sphere of influence, exchange of ideas, closed doors, national trade. Let's get into international trade. I mean, I don't think the nations will actually trade with us, so it shouldn't just matter. No. Let's uh, get the bunkers in the fields, which uh, it just lets us build four more land fronts, forts in all of our provinces. We will bunk in the fields. Uh, well said. Time for one more military factory. And after that, um, well, now we are getting quite advanced. Let's also get the radio station researched. The Albanian atomic project to get that would be quite interesting. <laughs> Let's just get this stuff all researched. I'm going to get more weapons. I should maybe also get artillery, considering the circumstances. I certainly have to import steel, so I'll import. Actually, I'll. Mm. I can get 8 steel for myself, but still, I'll import steel for the Soviet Union. At least one. We go. Getting some steel from the Soviets. It's simply out of time. Hungary renounced the Treaty of Trian and we have the Oh, let's take the Grand Battle Time of Train also researched. Five military zero naval and first civil controls bankers in the fields. It's time to establish I think new mines. Albanian soil is filled with untold riches only waiting to be excavated. It isn't that OP, it's just adding us some resources. I would personally I would like to see a more OP mod as Albania, but how you can see, it's not OP at all. Yeah, I'll get order above. Let's get it later. The Spanish Civil War here, total equality. Uh, total equality. Enforced patriarchy, traditional roles. Total equality could be worthwhile considering. Let's get everything else first. So let's get the military theorist, Kemal Khomeini. And I should train more divisions. KB Siori Pietze team. I think I said it horribly, but still, let's just train 11 divisions. We need many resources for that, of course. Next thing, uh, let's get industry concern. After we establish the new mines, I could go for the Albanians, people are armed, which would get us up to plus 75 percent actually more than 100 percent of our <laughs> recruited population so we shouldn't have problems with manpower at least all these new mines let's get uh, it's i think time to purge the italian officers our army is swarmed with italian officers invited here by king zark we must get rid of them as soon as possible before they do more harm to our nation yep let's purge them Nice, the symmetrical radar. Yeah, I think getting radar in the province of Albania 
would be considering worthwhile is actually considering it's quite cheap to build so after we finish this factory I think it's time to get Raider as quick as possible yeah all the person's cloud of bonds with Germany General Reich Reich claims mammal and the Rome Berlin axis Rome Berlin axis um, um, so I need to think what to research what to research um, Perhaps maintenance company as well. And a computing machine and Marco Polo bridge incident. Let's get that already researched. Alright, that's 5.3k. I think it's time to modify them by adding them. Okay, I need some more speed points. The Italian officers have been purged. Next thing next, Albanian's people army. Long live Albania and her arm holding the flaming sword of the revolution, which will grant us another whooping time to set the recruitable population. Which will mean around 100,000 people free to join our army. It, I think with all of these modifications, we will be actually able to get more uh, soldiers than we have people in our country. <laughs> well, that will be funny though. I mean, we only have 1 million core population, so we are really a minor, minor... F oh, there is a faction called the Northern Lights, that's, that's quite interesting. Northern Lights, so a Scandinavian faction, the Sadabad Pact, the Allies, and the Mejimorgia. As well as the Axis, so... <clears throat> well, well. Alright, Japan declared war on China. Conflict is varying perhaps. What's happening in the Balkans? Well, the Balkan Entente has been formed. Yugoslavia with Bulgaria. Yugoslavia with Bulgaria, the Balkan Entente. Bosnia is protecting against the neighbors. Croatia, Atomskaya, Atomsky you know, in Innovatia, which means atomic innovation. They are going for fascism and Slovenia is declaring their neutrality. Next thing, let's get um, Marshal Hodja. Comrade Hodja will personally lead our soldier on the fields of glory. He should we'll see how many 4,000 officers are actually being trained, or soldiers to save that. Technologically, we are really being one of the most advanced nations on the earth. That's, that's a proud achievement, really. Uh, let's just get army regrouping, just to get something there at least. Now we have 5 military and 4 civilian factories, getting 1 more military, and after that I'm going to build a radar. The Munich agreement actually have been signed. Bad mistake, bad mistake. So let's see, a pretty horrible mistake. Poland is all on their own. I mean, they're being granted by Romania, so hmm, let's... I still didn't research artillery. I'm going to ensure that I actually I forgot it. How can I please forget this? Now, let's go ahead and research artillery. It take us 122 days. 2.1k. We got nice amounts of um, experience. Let's add engineer companies to the alliance and one brigade of shock troops. Interesting of four brigades there. Alright, not mine put 1k before I conduct any further um, adjustments. I'm just gonna wait and get the bunkers in the hills. We will bunker in the hills. Why not? Got the maintenance company. After that, uh, I can get nothing there. Perhaps Great War Armored Car. It's costing oil. I don't want to import anything yet, so I can ignore it as well. Not strong enough to build any tanks. Let's see. Jungle specialists, we have no jungles here. Perhaps I can get Jäger as well. Some Jäger divisions within our nice Albanian template. It's gonna be just garrison the uh, shorelines of Albania. The great Albanian nation led by Pilmarsha and Ver Hoja. Alright, damn. Military staff, let's get army morale. What we are being given. Oh, Italy is already justifying against us. So we have to get army defense. Thankfully, I can straight away deploy all of my lines instantly. Sign them and start that they should get some bloody training done. But now, 
I would say that we are quite confident to withstand the invasion. Oh, partial mobilization still requires me that we have to use uh, three of our four civilian factories. That's quite bad. <coughs> yeah, Italy is going for the Albanian occupation. I've, I mean, I am quite confident that we're gonna succeed. I mean, we still lack infantry equipment. What what place car parts for Ukraine? Oh, they declared their independence from what Czechoslovakia. They have zero military factories and zero <laughs> troops, but they have all, they have their custom focus tree. What in the name of God, who did that, really? I don't think it's gonna help them though. Hungary is just uh, probably gonna invade them straight away. I, mean, I would love to see if the Soviets actually guarantee me, but uh, no, they won't. Maybe I can ask to like, establish some nice relations with them. Maybe. Still, we need 7.2k. Okay, we got that. Next thing will be fortified the shores. They will see no sand but concrete on the beaches. They shall. They shall. The Albanian occupation is taking. Uh, Alright, uh, 30 more days. Okay, they can't really expand because we simply lack the equipment. Let's just hope it's gonna be fine. Expand 9k. Should I maybe disband some divisions? Let's disband these two divisions actually. Get rid of them. So our others get fully filled up and ready. Withstand. I mean, I'm really confident the Italians they won't be able to get on, on inside Albania. They shouldn't be, there's no way. Uh, maybe I can also expect some aid from. Uh, Soviet Union or from other countries, but considering that they aren't actually fighting the Axis yet, I uh, don't think that's going to happen. Still, we need 3.1k. I can say we must submit or they laughed at my bankers. Ha! Two arms! Well, let's clearly say they laughed at my bankers. Two arms! Dear, there we go. Italy declared war on us. Uh, I do not have anti air yet, so they will probably bomb my bunkers. After I fortified the shores, I'll close the airspace. I should have done it before. But we got artillery. Let's just get in the water as well. And yeah, they are bombing Albania. I. Come on, I need anti air as well. Yep, they are damaging our bunkers, so we are. It will be our uttermost first priority to repair our bunkers. Almost first, priority to repair them. It's being repaired, so now I'm waiting for the invasion by the Italians. Oh, Belgium declared war on Rexist Belgium. Oh wow, well, the fascists. The fascists. Uh, Belgian civil war. Look to that. How does that happen? A Belgian civil war. The Dutch side actually turned fascist. It's fighting against the French dominated side. The colonies are being controlled by the uh, Rexis Belgium. That is not good. Isn't good at all. Next thing, close the airspace. We will not let a single imperialist plane get into our air force. Yeah. After that, the Italians should suffer some major casualties. Come on, I'd really uh, need more equipment. I mean, let's add them some maintenance company. Uh, it's looking fine. Uh, I personally can't see them invading us via the shore. They probably notice it's a bad idea to invade us. But still, they are damaging our infrastructure more than I would uh, like to see, especially here. It's damaged at four levels already. Um, what can I get? Can I something concealment minus enemy air support? Uh, let's perhaps get concealment. Concealment. A reduction of enemy as a bot. Well, the Italians, don't you want to try to invite me? It's Italy? Come on, I'm waiting for you. Just waiting for you. But no, they even won't try. Uh, that's just boring. Italy is they're connecting Bosnia, although Bosnia is being controlled by, uh, by Bosnia. Isn't that smart? Advanced machine tools. 
soon we'll finish the Grand Valve plan and I once more need more uh, manpower. We got our Jägers done as well as the Grand Valve plan. Prepare defense. Uh, let's get the mans. Let's get the, the ends. Black mission. Let's get the ends and then army focus. Italy can do nothing else than to bombard a poor nation. Look to that. Shame on you, Italy. Really shame on you. We are repairing them, so let's... After 10 days, we got uh, 5 more until yeah? We will not let a single impudest plane in our airspace. <laughs> uh, it says, if it's not enough for them to face our air defense, they will face a lenient man and woman in the sky. <laughs> I mean, I think you cannot even get 10 until yeah, can you? <laughs> <laughs> but just see to that, if if it's not enough to face uh, our air defense, they'll face Albanian man and woman in the sky. <laughs> Let's just get the bunkers in the sky to see if we actually get 10 uh, on the ass. I mean, that isn't possible. So, I don't know. Let's, let's see. Maybe it is like saying 10 out of 5 then. Look to that. Italy is fighting the Balkan Pact. That's quite nice. So, yep, I can sign a pack of normal aggression with Greece. But to be honest, playing as Albania is just plenty boring. Since you uh, conduct no military operations at all, you can maybe go ahead and fight the Italians if the British established a beachhead. When is that place gonna happen? Croatia is. Uh, they have no faction. But they are turning fascists, so let's see. Maybe they're gonna join the Axis, and the Axis is maybe gonna get some. Oh, Germany is actually befriending Poland. Really? They are befriending Poland. So that's, is Poland gonna be a part of the Axis? I, I don't know. Huh. Let's find out. Anyways, the bombardment of Italian planes Italian planes will stop. But it should stop quite soon. Well, considering what can we do? Uh, just right. Oh, we are being finally invaded by Italian troops. Come on, Italy, bring it on. Just look at that. There we go. Italian troops trying to invade us, and they failed. Nobody can. Nobody can get on Albanian soil. Interval artillery. And actually, should I do a risky challenge where I like let the Italians come onto my soil? And they would come into my county with probably 10 divisions, and taking these 10 out would be quite hard. Actually, considering that we have a nice amount of, of bunkers, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and take the challenge. Well, if I fail, then I fail, then it's my mistake. I'm gonna leave this spot just completely empty. Completely empty. I'm going to detach some divisions from the regular army, and uh, I, I have a plan. I have a plan to let them come on to my cell because I have everywhere highly fortified bunkers. They shouldn't be able to advance even a bit. Let's see how that works out. Shall we? They're gonna go there. Oh, there was a naval battle. If, come on, I tell you, there is a free. Um, free problems waiting for your troops to get crushed. I just want to kill as many Italians as possible and killing 10 divisions would be certainly a nice achievement to say the least. And there we go, they are getting on our side now. The, now I'm going to create a division here ready against their border and they are going to prepare to attack them. Yeah. I mean, they are fresh troops, considering that. So we are getting the bangas in the skies. And we got it. Now it says, oh, it's still 5 out of 5. Well, that's just unnecessary to research. Oh, it actually added air bases. Alright. 
Next thing will be, let's get voluntary conscription. We must ensure that all, all able Albanians are properly trained and ready for their duty. Uh oh, there are 14 Italian divisions. 14. Uh, don't they want to try to attack, maybe? Oh, I actually just noticed they got control of my land fort. So that was a horrible mistake from me. I, I just got it. How oh, couldn't I have thought of that? That's... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Damn it. Nah, I just gave basically some land freely up and now I'm going to get bloodyly invaded by the Italians and that in a horrible manner. Oh, they was a stupid move from me, I have to admit. Let's... Well, I didn't play at for a long time, so please... It was a mistake. Well, uh, if you try to attack, then you tell me why Because... It is a hell of a fortified area and we have nothing to bomb them with. Yep, so don't even think about that. Mm. Uh, what? A reorganized uh, national China Express war in China. Oh yeah, they're Japanese puppets. Not established there. Well, maybe you know the, uh, the Italians, if they actually declare war, for example, on France or on Spain, then they should leave the province empty, I think. Yeah, they should. What can I do? I can, like, add also uh, replace one line with Jäger, with Jäger, Albanian Jäger troops. There we go. Albanian Jägers. Alright. I'll have to get the conscription just to get some manpower floating into my army. Uh, Alright, I mean, they have their entire army there. The entire army in their little naval base. Like, don't they think of conducting some other operations? Not really. Just sitting there. Doing nothing. Oh, again, it's... Again, actually slowed down considerably. 25 Italian divisions, that's like the half of... Okay, no, they have 206 divisions. Wow. Uh, Soviets won't help me, they are doing the claims in Poland. All the Polish have their fascist influence and Germany is uh, nationalizing strategic industries. All the Germans aren't actually uh, in the war yet. If there are like three divisions left, I'm gonna start the offensive, but it will be a high casualty one to regain land which you have previously fortified. Don't forget, don't forget. Okay, I'll just get the sniper team. And the AI isn't actually, I hope the AI would actually attack us, but no, they aren't that stupid anymore. I mean, in the past they always kept attacking while well, fortified lines, you know? Let's say it's it's not really bad, it's just like testing our troops. Uh, they won't attack. It's just leading to un unnecessary casualties. They have 1.4 million troops. I feel I got voluntary conscription. The next thing I can get is perhaps uh, let's declare the hot youth won't be the pilots. Let's get that. A band to the rail line. Yeah. The Balearic Islands have been ceded to Italy. Hmm, look to that. Italy is going for the air focus now. And France is supporting the left. Uh, the world could at least turn out to be an interesting scenario. Well, I mean the influence of the Germans won't uh, bring anything because... Uh, Poland already. I mean, Poland has their own faction. I just see we are playing for 45 minutes. If you would like to see me uh, to play a second episode of this, then let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna take a break here. So, thank you all for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's just boring. But, uh, see you next time. Goodbye. I'm Sigrid and I'm out. Have a nice day. Bye.